What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this Monday night. It is September 25th, 2023. Pretty close to October. Getting close to the end of the year. It is about 10.58 uh, p.m. here, California time. 2.4 is the latest earthquake activity into the Alaska region. We did see some movement here south of the... Um, well, Arizona and Texas area looks like into the Mexico region of 4.0 coming in uh, within the last hour or so. Starting off with the uh, space weather event, though. See what we got going on here with these uh, active sunspot regions. We have been watching 3445 and 3435 up here. Two distinct areas of potential severe uh, flaring. Uh, let's see what we got for the most recent magnetogram image here. Let's see what we have. Looks like, uh, well, this one here does not quite look as active as what we've seen this morning, but we're noticing a newer sunspot behind this area uh, that is growing pretty rapidly. So we'll keep an eye on this area. Also, this regional sunspot up here, 3445. Um, it's still there. It's trying to hang in. Doesn't look like anything major complex going on there within that sunspot core, but we'll keep an eye on all three of these as they are somewhat into the earth-facing side of the sun. We are looking at a couple newer regions coming around the eastern limb of the sun. Keep an eye on those as they progress and uh, advance towards this, uh, towards this area, towards earth. Right now, 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 40, X flare around 15% chance. No major coronal holes are facing us. Doesn't look like any major expected space weather events coming up we do occasionally see some unexpected events but uh, for now nothing expected continue to watch that though uh, for some flaring amongst those three sunspots all right uh, into the area of alaska are seeing a somewhat of a uptick here across the brooks range in the last hour or so northern alaska i'm sure beautiful up there this time of year i'm not even joking i'd love the cold weather a uh, couple twos going on up there, also into the Gulf of Alaska. Got a couple active, a uh, couple earthquakes here. Uh, Two point zero uh, within the last five minutes or so. As far as the states, let's go ahead and take a gander down here into Idaho. Looks like uh, somewhat active conditions out here near Stanley, Idaho. Two point five, the last earthquake here this afternoon. As far as California goes, well, looks like California. <laughs> That's about it. Not really seeing anything major going on out here across the uh, state of California as far as abnormal activity. Uh, we did have an earthquake down here off the San Andreas Fault near Taft, California. That was uh, late last night uh, coming into this area just off the San Andreas Fault. But for the most part, things uh, relatively calm. Uh, we're obviously seeing some microquake activity. Nothing major yet. Got one earthquake out here near Holtville. That's on the Imperial Fault. But for the most part, you can see this activity occurring out here on any given day. Nothing abnormal for now. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up there across the area. So let's double check the latest seismograph stations here. And it looks like uh, a lot of these have cut off. It is that time where they, uh, the uh, UTC time ends and it starts over on a new chart but for the most part uh it looks as though uh there was one earthquake around here maybe that could be the potential one in uh, idaho noticing the the signature here in the last couple hours there uh let me see what we got uh i don't know if there was anything big enough over there in idaho i don't think so so it looks like there is some uh, a little bit of seismic activity here centered around the west boundary area in the last couple hours or so. It doesn't look like anything major. It looks like probably about a 2.0, uh, somewhere around that magnitude. Nothing showing up here across the USGS map for now. Rest of the states, typical. Uh, this activity is from earlier this morning. We kind of discussed that on our earthquake update earlier. Uh, Puerto Rico area getting a little bit of different swarming going on here outside of our typical swarm region, which normally occurs within this southwestern edge of Puerto Rico. But now, uh, looks like outside of the um, Santa Isabella area, getting a handful of earthquakes here. 3.6 in the last couple hours or so. Somewhat elevated activity there across the Puerto Rico region. 
South America, nothing showing up here on the USGS map, but uh, let's check out the Earthquake 3D globe. Handful of smaller quakes, even some fours up here off the coast of Peru, but nothing showing up there from the USGS model. Uh, I did see some uh, somewhat larger earthquake activity here across the Indonesia region earlier this afternoon. 5.9 coming in just shy of the 6.0 magnitude level. Uh, that earthquake occurring within uh, the Philippine Trench, or at least the southern edge of that Philippine Trench. About 90 kilometers deep for that earthquake. New Zealand area looking pretty quiet. I was just checking this out uh, a few minutes ago. Let me see what happened to New Zealand. Not goes. Let's go back over here real quick. Geonet is what I'm after. <laughs> Um, there's that 6.0 that happened there a week or so ago. Far as the earthquake activity, well, it doesn't look, doesn't look like anything major is going on there. 15 hours ago, there was that little earthquake. But uh, as far as the charts go, for the most part, pretty quiet. A little bit of activity down here on the South Island area, but that does not look like anything major. In fact, probably below the 2.0 threshold. Still seeing some aftershock activity here across this area of New Zealand. That's about where the 6.0 struck here a few days ago. All right, uh, what else we got here? Anything major going on here? Uh, nothing uh, nothing spectacular. Uh, we got one earthquake here. 3.0 near the Fern Forest area of Hawaii. That's out there along the eastern flank of the uh, Kilauea Volcano region. Nothing major going on. Just some slight activity. Nothing uh, spectacular across the uh, Europe area for now. Just uh, got a handful of earthquakes out here, looks like. Some minor movement earlier this morning in the Azores area. Overall, activity here has been, uh, I don't know, it's been somewhat below normal daily limits or at least daily activity. Aside from that 5.9, just a little uh, handful of smaller earthquakes. A little bit of movement out here in Australia. 3.4 and a 2.9 occurring uh, within, it looks like, within Central Australia area. All right, uh, Storm Prediction Center, at least for now, not a whole lot of activity over the next couple days. Just seeing the marginal risk of some severe weather tomorrow out here across portions of the uh, Midwest area. And down into the New Mexico area. Uh, for now, we're kind of dealing with... We actually got a couple sprinkle, sprinkles out here today, folks. Here in my neck of the woods. Uh, nothing major. But, uh, you know, I'll take uh, cooler and wetter weather over the dry heat. That's building up here across the eastern portion of the country. Um... The influence of that weather out here across the West Coast is this massive low-pressure system spinning off the, uh, oh, about the Queen Charlotte Sound area. Look at that. Some some, some beautiful wind gusts up there around 70 miles per hour or so. That'd be a, a beautiful picnic day, I think, anyway. Uh, but here in California, we did see some southern wind kick up here, bring us uh, some light showers out here uh, around the Chico area. But the brunt of the moisture obviously heading up north. Um, I do want to talk about the 6 uh, to 10 day outlook here real quick. This is going to give us a good indicator of what to expect over the next 6 to 10 days here. And I've been chatting about this for a little while. How this high pressure system up here in the Canada is influencing the weather out here across a good portion of the eastern uh, states. You guys are looking at some warm temperatures coming up here uh, not even joking and that's the uh, temperature outlook over the next six to ten days uh, basically issued from October 1st to the fifth time period out here along the west coast we're looking at cooler weather with continued troughing going on precipitation wise well looking at below normal out here across the eastern portion of the country good portion here of the west Intermountain West area is looking at uh, elevated precipitation amounts. California near normal. We're not really expecting too much rainfall out here, but uh, we'll take the cooler weather for sure. So uh, for now, it looks like things are uh, going to remain somewhat cool out here across 
the eastern portion of the country, or uh, the western portion of the country. I'm not out east. But if you take a look at the even longer trend models here, this is the 8 to 14 day ch uh, temperature outlook. Well, that continues October 3rd to the 9th. You guys uh, don't have any cooling relief out there. No sign of fall in the forecast for a good portion of the eastern states. Out here across the west, continue troughing. The only way this will change is if we get, for the most part, high pressure building up out here on, along the west, well, which would indicate some troughing across the eastern portion of the country. But, well, that's not in your forecast out there across the eastern portion of the country. And the 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook, not a whole lot going on across the eastern portion of the country, but uh, looks like maybe some wet weather conditions prevailing out here across a good portion of the western states. And that is fine by me. I love, I absolutely was standing out in the rain today. Uh, it only rained for about maybe 10 minutes or so, but, uh, you know, just enough to dampen the ground and create that precipitation smell that I think we all can relate to, right? You know, when, when it's dry, doesn't matter if you have a dry field, if you got, uh, you know, grass or a, a farm, whatever, you know, we can relate to that smell once the rain um, hits the ground there and that, that uh, beautiful rain smell comes up and comes into your windows. Uh, it's beautiful. I, I absolutely love the rainfall. So, for now, it looks like things will uh, continue to stay wet and cooler out here across the western portion of the country. As far as hurricanes go, there's a couple um, issues out there. Felipe, it looks like, way out there in the Atlantic. Let's see what we got for the uh, numerical model. Um, forecasts graphs here. It's going to be this area right here. Got the states off here. Potential new development down here where that L is. We'll put this into motion and see what we got for uh, activity. For the most part, I think the majority of these storms are going to stay away from the states way out in the Atlantic. It doesn't look like anything is stirring up in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, been pretty fortunate. Fortunate for sure. Uh, but for now, way out into uh, potentially the middle of October, things look clear as far as any threat of hurricane statuses go out here across the, uh, the state. So that's good news. All right, folks, I am going to jump off here, I think. And um, hope everyone has a wonderful Monday night. What's left of it? As uh, far as areas to watch, you know, it's just... Just it's kind of quiet, a little bit eerie, eerily quiet. Uh, we we didn't really see that expected movement out here across the Solomon Islands, Vanuatu region, which why obviously I was expecting, due to the deeper movement out here. Uh, subsequent intraplate earthquake activity north of Fiji, and then the movement further west of Papua New Guinea. But I still think we need to watch this area. It hasn't really shown any movement. I think the longer it goes without showing activity. Uh, potentially the stronger and more uh, earthquake activity we'll see in that region once it gets going. So uh, just keep an eye on this area. Watch that pretty closely. We'll see what happens overnight. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there. And uh, we're coming up on 11-11. Uh, Make your wish. But we're coming up on uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days or so before we do the drawing. The member drawing is coming up in 5 days, folks. 10 lucky winners will be picking out live. Um, so I'm kind of excited. Looking pretty uh, pretty awesome. We're, we've got about 330 entries. But that is of, um, since about Saturday. I'm sure we've gained a few more. But if you haven't jumped in on the drawing, make sure you guys do so. Have a good night. See you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.